Hello everyone, I'm going to cover an incident which seems to have flown under the radar somewhat, as shortly afterwards the Crimean Bridge incident occurred which took all the headlines. So it was reports of a drone strike on Sheikovka Air Base in Kaluga, Russia. This is the air base which Russia uses to launch T-22s from. The reports say that a large UAV carried out a kamikaze attack on the base, demolishing two two twenty two M's in the process. Now, we don't have any photos or videos from the scene, it's all very hush hush, but we do have a satellite photo from the day after which we will go through. Before that, let's have a look at some classic Russia claims. So Russian telegram pages claimed that the drone was downed using this image here. Now I'm sure it'll come as no surprise when I say this claim is false. Here is the same drone appearing in the Canadian article from 2020. So it's not a massive leap of faith to say that the drone did in fact hit something and did in fact cause damage and that's why the telegram pages are spreading this image around. Now onto the satellite photos. These were taken on the 7th of October at 2.45pm local time. There's no sign of damage on the runway or damage on aircraft at that time. However, we don't have an exact time when the drone arrived. These photos could have been taken before the drone appeared. Also, part of the base is obscured by a cloud. But even if these photos were from before, I think they are still worth a look at as they give an idea of what is stationed there. If anybody wants the raw photos, just send me an email and I will be happy to send them to you. Now I will go through the base, a zoomed in section at a time. Before we do, here is a Google Maps image showing its orientation, so it runs from north to south. I thought I'd mention this, as with the satellite images I'm using, it looks like it runs from east to west. So in the images, remember, the left hand side of the screen would be north. So first image, we can see a pair of MiG-31 interceptors which provide air cover. Just a precaution I think as I don't think Ukraine would send jets over here this far. In the centre, between the two runways, are some defensive positions. I can't make out what is actually there. They look too small to be S-300, could be Buck or Tor. At the top, we have a stack of supply crates, an unknown helicopter and a pair of 222s. 222 is what is generally based here. Also, there's a number of cars near the 222s. I wonder if that is a sign that something did happen, hinting that this photo is taken after the incident, because it seems odd to have so many cars parked here near the runway. Now the second part of the runway. Four more 222s are here. Additionally, we can see a storage area. I think the trucks are loaders of some sort. They have one tube on them. Possibly the missiles used by 222, whereas the S300 has four, set in a quad. So if these were S300s, two tubes would be visible. They could also be tankers of some sort. Next, here is a large storage area. I've highlighted what looks to be a fuel train. At the top, there are three fuel tankers. Next to it, some trucks which look to be civilian. Perhaps these deliver food and other supplies and stores to the base itself. Finally, at the bottom are what look to be S300 tubes, but could be fuel too. In the next section, we have seven 222s. That makes 13 based here so far from what we've seen, plus the pair of MiG-31s that we saw earlier. And now, the final image. Seven more 222s. So this base is home to at least 22 22s. The northern runway is obscured and some may be on missions or sent elsewhere for maintenance or training. There are also the two MiG-31s as protection and a helicopter. I assume it is some sort of um, transport helicopter. So it's quite a substantial base. So Sheikovka lies almost 220 kilometers from the border. So it's quite embarrassing that a large drone managed to get this far and either hit the base or only be downed at the last second. The fact that this occurs opens the door for other missions in the region as Russian airspace is vulnerable. 
as well as Sheikovka, feasibly air bases at Belgorod, Kursk, Oyol, Ryazan, Lipetsk and Boronez are all possible targets which could um, be within range. Now, before we finish, a thank you to the Patreons. So, big thank you to Taras, Kujon, Wiley Coyote PhD, Steve, Ron, John and RK. Thanks very much to your support and thanks very much for everybody who watches the channel. I appreciate it. If you liked this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Thanks again and take care.